I'm decoy number 47 from Northwest Florida, and you're watching Bobby Guy Films. Ah, it is a beautiful morning. Uh, it's only about 69 degrees out, which is very lovely considering it's been 106 the last three days here in central Kansas. So, I am welcoming in the beautiful weather this morning. So welcome to another episode, guys. Today we're gonna research, go over, review the whole nine yards of the Avian X full body goose Canada decoys. So I know I've been doing a lot of the waterfowl how-to videos, guys. I'm not really getting out and doing a bunch of fishing or anything like that. It's a little slow, it's mid of summer. So what I'm wanting to do is get as many of these fowl, waterfowl related how-to's up as possible in preparing for this coming season because this in, in this coming season, uh, I'm gonna be extremely busy compared to when I was last year and I'm gonna be doing a lot of hunting. So you guys are gonna see a lot of collabing, a lot of goose and duck hunting. So I'm just trying to fill it up, populate with what I wanna get done because this year is going to be fire. So in the last video, real quick, I wanna to touch this. I told you guys to email right here. Me and Flair are teaming up on some waterfowl stuff this year. He will actually be here this coming weekend. So uh, chime in on those videos to come because we're gonna cover what we're doing and what we got going on. So be looking out for that. But let's get to these bad boys right here. So guys, let's get to the meat and taters of this here video. We're gonna take a good look at the Avian X full body flocked decoy. The backs are not flocked, the heads are flocked, uh, but the painting on the back, as you can see guys, very good. We have a year to two years, I can't remember exactly what we have on these ones, but they are wearing just fine. They got a little bit of nicks on the head after approximately one season. But uh, these decoys, I'm telling you, the reason, one of the main reasons why we went with Avian X is because their decoys, guys, look the best. It's not because they're the most durable or someone told us to buy them. We wanted the realest looking decoys possible. Moving on to durability. One thing uh, that is different with the Avian X that I really like are the stake holes right here. Uh, compared to Tangle Free, I really like Tangle Free decoys but we've had trouble with the inserts blowing out so your stake actually gets shoved all the way up to the top of the back in there. They break out a lot of times on the old Tangle Freeze. I don't know if the new ones are like that, but these are extremely durable. They're real, that's a real thick plastic in there. Very unlikely that those are gonna blow out like uh, I've experienced in the recent days. One of the factors that I really haven't thought about what I really enjoy is that these are not detachable heads. These heads are on there real sturdy. It seems like with detachable heads, you always lose them, they fall off, they end up breaking, not fitting again right. So these heads are actually on there really, really well. They're not detachable. And so it serves a really good purpose for durability. I really like what they did on these decoys. Uh, if, you, if you do break this inner sleeve like I was just talking about, there's a little screw on the back so you can actually re replace that insert. So that is a really key factor on these decoys. A lot of times like with other decoys, that blows out and now that whole decoy is smoked. You literally have to take some F26 or something in there and fill the hole that you blasted through. So I really enjoy that it is detachable and you can replace that insert. One thing really cool about these decoys, guys, is the way that that in insert in there is shaped, it's almost like a cone. And so when it pivots on the top of this, you can see it has a lot of stakes. This is like a lot of stakes, but when you put it on there, it's shaped just right. So, I mean, it just gives you a ton of lifelike motion, especially when it's windy. Today, it's not windy at all, actually. It's actually uh, pretty still, it's really moist. So. Not much wind going on now, but let me tell you, when it gets windy, these guys start dancing. Now guys, kind of my last thing I really like about these decoys is that they're not really, really hard plastic. Uh, they are pretty soft, so as you can tell, like I'm not pushing that hard. They're not rubber, but they're a really softer plastic. So you know, on those really cold days uh, when they're getting thrown around a bunch, dropped in the bags, kicked around, whatever happens, 
uh, those hard, hard plastic decoys, they tend to crack when it gets that cold. So having a more durable rubber type of plastic on a decoy, in my preference, is key. And there is a lot of companies jumping on board with that theory. And I'm so glad because there's a lot of old decoys of ours that cracked, sunk, just basically fell apart because they were so brittle in the bitter cold. So guys, I've covered kind of all the things that I really enjoy about the decoys and why we bought them. I have one thing that I do not like about these decoys. One thing, and that is the bags. If any of you own these bags, avian bags, they are horrible. The reason why isn't because they fall apart, isn't because they rip, it's that there's no structure to them. So by yourself, see this? They do not stand up. Now, I know it sounds like I'm griping about that, but you know when you're picking up and every man grabs a bag, goes out there and everybody's filling a bag, you can't really do that. And if you do that, it's gonna take you twice to three times long by yourself filling these bags. So guys, here's a little tip. So my tip for this video about these avians is the bag. If you guys own these, or if you're gonna buy these, I recommend two people putting them in the bag. It just goes literally twice as fast. One person holds them like this, rectangle-wise, you know, long, long-wise up and down. The other one just fills from the bottom up. Why I say from the bottom up, start with the bottom slots and come up, is because if you start with the bottom slots, if you start with the bottom and work your way up, the weight is at the bottom and pulls the bag down it so it opens all the slots for the guy that's shoving them in. So it's just a two-man two process. If you do that, I promise you'll save a bunch, 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 bunch of time doing it two-man on these bags. Literally, the only downfall that I have to these decoys. If they replace that bag, I would say everything is perfect. But as far as functionality of the decoys, as far as, you know, as functionality of the bag, you can see it stands. It stands just fine with decoys in it. But with no decoys, it does that. And it's hard to freaking feel. So all in all, guys, I just wanted to kind of recap these Avians because like the Avian X A-Frame that I reviewed just a few videos ago, you know, Avian is not cheap. Avian's pretty expensive. So I just kind of want to help you guys, fill you guys in on some good information to help you decide if you can afford these things and if it's worth your dollar. But guys, like I said, drop a comment below. Let me know if you guys have these bags. If you've, you know, found a better way to, to handle these bags, let me know down below. Let me know if you guys own these. Let me know if you've had any problems with them. We haven't ha really had any problems with these yet, thank God. But if you have, let me know down low because I'm interested in hearing it. Like I said, guys, Flair will be here this weekend. We're gonna be uh, kind of talking about what we got going on with the waterfowl industry and what we're doing here in videos and hunting and all this stuff. So uh, be looking out for that. And don't forget, if you have any fire duck spots around Kansas, Nebraska, Missouri, Oklahoma, especially around us, email us below right here, Ducks Waterfowl. Send us an email put in the subject of the email, what state you're from, and if it's duck or goose. We're looking for some of you to come hunt with this season, so hit us up. But I wanna thank all you guys for watching, all you new subscribers, I see you guys. If you guys enjoyed this type of video, please give it a thumbs up. I know it's been a long, hot summer. We're getting there, guys. Hang on, the foulisms are coming. So I wanna thank you guys for watching. Have a good one, y'all. This weekend's about to be lit, you don't even know. Have a good one. Peace.